Mr. Chair, uh, according to the report, uh, six days pong aban abandon yung Toyota Avanza sa, sa Mabalakat, Pampanga. And because of uh, the number of days na nandun na hindi nagagalaw, uh, nag-report po yung security uh, guard doon sa, sa place na yun. Tama po? That's correct, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, now, noong pong uh, nagpunta kayo doon sa lugar, uh, ano po yung una niyong ginawa? Initially, nakipag-coordinate po kami sa PNP Mabalakat. Hinanap po namin yung office din ng DOJ. Unfortunately, hindi namin nakita. Nakipag-coordinate kami sa <clears throat> barangay. And then, nakipag-coordinate kami sa security officers ng establishment, Your Honor. Tama po. Uh, so, uh, let's presume, kasi doon sa statement kanina yung chief of police ng Mabalakat Pampanga, na... Uh, Nai-report sa kanila, pero hindi po sila nag-react. Let's uh, assume that. Uh, pero noong kayo po pumunta na ron at uh, binuksan, uh, meron po bang ibang police agencies na nandun? Wala, Your Honor. Ang kasama namin is yung Barangay and Security Officers, Your Honor. Barangay and Security Officers. So, nung nabuksan po ninyo, uh, did you suspect na illicit drugs yung laman ng sasakyan? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And what was the first thing that you should have done? Kung ganun po yung suspicion ninyo from the very start. Well, nag-coordinate nag -coordinate kami, Your Honor, sa mga required witnesses before we conducted the full inspection and the inventory. When you, when you say full inspection, would that include the field testing? No, Your Honor. Hindi po pa dapat meron kayong si standard operating procedure ninyo if you suspect it as... Uh, illicit drugs, hindi po ba natumatawag po kayo ng chemist from any agency, from the PDEA, from the police, and from your office na mag-conduct ng field testing before you leave the scene of the crime? Hindi, hindi, hindi po standard operating procedure ng NBA, Your Honor. Ah. Even we, when we conduct entrapment or by bus operation, tineturn over na lang po namin for examination sa forensic chemist. Hindi naman po by bus operation to. Yeah, yes, Now, uh, uh, After that, uh, 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 I presume na minarkahan nyo yung mga ebidensya na nakuha nyo. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Pero, paano nyo minarkahan? Um, yung inventory officer, Your Honor, minarkahan niya one by one per pack. Doon ba sa pack nyo sinulat o isinulat nyo sa isang tape at nilagay nyo? Isinulat sa tape, Your Honor. Is that also the standard operating procedure in marking pieces of evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Especially kung hindi pwedeng sulatan yung, yung packaging, Your Honor. So, ang ginagawa namin is nilalagyan namin ng tape. So, in this case, nilagyan namin ng tape and minart and initialed by the, by the inventory and seizing officer. Kahit po yung pinaglagyan niya na sack, it was also marked, Your Honor. So, kayo po ang nagdala sa main office nitong uh, uh, sis. Alleged seized illegal drugs. Part ako nung nag-escort, Your Honor. Because I was not the seizing officer, Your Honor. Okay. And at the uh, general headquarters or the main office of NBI, tinest ito, di po ba? Nung isinabmit na namin sa... Nung isinabmit na ng seizing officer sa chemist, Your Honor, tinest na nila. They conducted the examination. And what was the result? And it was found out, Your Honor, that the... that the substance is a dimethyl sulfone. In other words, hindi, hindi, hindi component or hindi shabu. Um, may I refer to our forensic chemistry honor? Well, is, is he or she around? Simple lang po yung tanong ko eh. Doon ba sa test na kinundak ninyo, eh, shabu ba yun <laughs> o ano? Yes or no? Yun lang po ang tanong ko. Kasi it, Mr. if Chairman? you look at the, the media, even the PNP pronounce na shabu yung nahuli. I have, I have a copy of the statement of the chief of the Philippine National Police. Even yung media na nandun sa area, ay sinabi niya na illicit drugs yun. But only to find out, after uh, the conduct of uh, a laboratory test at the headquarters of the NBI, ang lumabas ay hindi shabu. Samantalang naka, nakapub, nakapublicize na lahat, maski sa YouTube. Shabu yung kwan. You were, you were being congratulated because of this. Unfortunately, 
your your laboratory uh, expert said hindi po siya bu. So gusto ko pong malaman ano po yun? Uh, Mr. Chairman, may I reply to the query? Mr. Chairman, we did not claim that those substances found were shabu. The media came out that it's were suspected uh, methamphetamine hydrochloride, but the, the NBI did ne never claim that those were shabu. Now, uh, if I may add, Mr. Chairman, that those uh, substances were found to be dimethyl sulfone, uh, which is an, a uh, extender, shabu extender, uh, which is being used in the manufacture of shabu. Uh, now, What's the relevance? What's the importance of this seizure? No? It only shows that there is a clandestine, uh, clandestine shabu laboratory in the Philippines right now. And there, those substances that we were able to seize are going to be used in the manufacture of that legal drugs. No? Uh, uh, Mama manufacture yung illegal drugs. Nawala yan. Would you agree? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. But yes, it's and dangerous. therefore, it is not a necessary ingredient to produce shabu. Uh, yes, Mr. Yeah. Chairman. Uh, Yan, kung totoo po yung report na yan, ay ginagamit yan para ma-dilute yung shabu. At ma-dilute yung shabu, pero the same weight. Yung potency ng shabu, malelesen. Pero yung weight niya, parehas pa rin. I think you can ask your chemist if you would agree with that. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm a forensic chemist, Juliet Mahilum of NBI. Yes, Your Honor. Dimethyl sulfone in the illicit manufacture of methamphetamine is used as cutting agent or in short, adulterants. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. May I, may I request that these uh, adulterants, uh, if in the thinking of the National Bureau of Investigation would be part of the, uh, of the uh, manufacture of uh, Shabu, may I ask, uh, would this be, uh, shall we say, uh, delivered to PIDEA? Uh, yes, Your Honor, it will be delivered to the PDEA this week, but for the meantime, it is still in our custody, Your Honor. May I know why it should be in your custody for a long time? Your Honor, since this is not a dangerous drug, so we have no idea whether we will we need to turn it over or not to the PDEA. May I, may I request, uh, Mr. Chair, that these uh, substances be delivered to PDEA? Uh May we ask the NBI to please comply with the request of uh, the gentleman from Antipolo? Yes, Your Honor. We will comply, Your Honor. Thank you. Lahat po ng newsflash video ay makikita sa aking newsflash playlist. Sa mga gusto naman po ng mga biblical topics, punta po kayo sa aking channel na Mahafri TV. Para sa mga gustong mag-order ng Firmax Firmang and Lifting Cream and Immune System Booster, contact Mr. Dante Meraviles on Facebook. Cell phone number 09086553757.